Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, um, of course, you guys want an update of my little puppy, 12-year-old puppy. She's doing okay. She uh, She's walking back, you know, just like normal. Um, she is uh, eating. Well, she's always had uh, an appetite, so that was no problem whatsoever. But she's all back to normal, just a little tiny bump left where the um, where the vet gave her the injection so uh, I think she's almost back to normal that's a good thing but the vacation wasn't that interesting so I'll just have to uh, go back there this year but I think I'll do a last minute I think that's better then you know it's you got good weather and you know I'm, I'm gonna do that but then you don't have a choice of really nice houses so we'll see okay guys I'm gonna do this um, these uh, tiny little feather pores and I'm just gonna start out right now really small because uh, I want to do some for the uh, the jewelry that's about it see that's a nice pattern and then we're going to spread it and these are just like little angel wings so there you go that's about it that's more than enough that's really pretty so this one we're going to be And I'm going to do a couple of colors. Let's see if we could do another one. You never know what comes out. Just up and down, up and down, up and down. And just on a, a little bit of tilted, uh, tilted paper. See, this is a whole different sort of... Not sure if we can do anything with this one, but we'll see. Eh, it's starting to look okay. Let it come down a bit. That would be nice. Half orange, kind of, and half the dark brown. So we're going to keep that one too. Now I'm going to put some turquoise in. Because we do want a couple of other colors. And turquoise always, I think it's uh, uh, the color that goes along with uh, beads and stuff like that. Sort of gives you a boho feeling. So that's what I'm going for. Maybe a little bit more on top of that. See how I'm sort of layering it, making sure it doesn't mix too much. Um, that's because uh, you want it to come out like feathery and if you have it all mixed up it won't really do that that well so that's what you have to take care of then when you have your piece of paper as you can see this is the uh, the Kodak extra life paper I've been guess still getting a lot of questions about what kind of paper is that and I show it so often but I guess that goes with doing this so we're gonna pour it out that is kind of nice that is really pretty we're gonna keep that small like that and then one more where maybe a little bit more of the turquoise is gonna come out This time I'm going to come down, as you can see. Wow, that one's really pretty. Look at that. Really small little feathers. Got to get it in the middle, though, because you want to take out the middle. I'm not going to do anything more with this. I think that'll fit. 
So we're going to keep that one too. And let's try just one more of those because I really like that color. I like them all, but sometimes just some colors I like just a little bit more. There's not much paint left in, I see. Nope. But let's see what we can do with this. Because I also have a smaller ones, and I, I sort of like how this is going. So we'll keep that one anyway. Now we're going to go for the more turquoisey color. As you see, I'm not cleaning out the... Uh, the container that I'm putting it in because you don't need to as long as you pour on top again see the how I layer it in that's important there we go a little bit of dark brown then we're going to put in a little bit more of that turquoise and a tiny little bit of orange. I think that really goes with it. Now, I've had a painting uh, standing here around, and it's from a long, long time ago. And the colors are just, you know, starting to do something to me. They're just, you know, asking me to pour those colors. I'll show you that in a bit. But I'm really, really sort of, I don't know, it just says something to me. So I might figure that out. Okay, small one, small one, small one. That's kind of nice. Ooh, that one's really pretty. Let's make it long. Like that. And spread it out. That is kind of uh, fierce. But I want more turquoise. We're going to put in a little bit more turquoise, guys. Okay, let's get you out of here. No turquoise. Oh yeah, here it's coming. Wow, that's like, this one's really like a reptile. This one is really cool. Look at that. That is really pretty. I wish I had this one in a painting. That would really be awesome. Okay, put that one down. I think I have one more left. And that'll be enough. Yeah. I've been watching uh, Gold Rush lately. My husband really likes it. But he, he watches it, you know, just because he likes to watch it. And I watch it because I'm thinking, I want to go gold hunting. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the difference between him and me. <laughs> he watches something just, you know, just to watch it. And I'm thinking, I can do that. I want to do that too. But there's no gold in Holland. You guys, you know, where you are, there's there's gold, but here, almost nothing. Well, of course, there's gold in every single soil that you can find on Earth. But, you know, just not enough to make it worthwhile. Um, you know, the closer you get to Switzerland, uh, that's where the gold is, in the mountains. So, um, sometimes people here will go to the, the Rhine. That's the big, really big, where's my brown? Oh, there. That's a really big river here in Holland. And they will uh, go search for gold in that. And you can find some, but, you know, it's not worth it. I think the guy said he was um, searching for two days. And he, um, if you put it into money, it was 22 euros for two days hard labor. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's okay. You know, it's a hobby. You're outside in the fresh air, and it's it's sort of you know when you're doing that it's sort of fun. I'm I'm thinking it's sort of like my um, 
metal detector. You're just out in a field and you're in nature and there's a lot of fun and, and excitement going on and that's all about. That's what it is. Okay, that's a nice one. We'll keep that one. This looks like a fish. When I see this, fish. Funny how patterns can, you know, pull up so many things that you think they it is and what it looks like. Okay, one last one. This has got to be a really good one. I'm going to do circular. But I do want it to do something more than that. You know, just those stripey stripes. That's not that interesting. So we want it to pull it down a little like that. Now it really looks like a slice of some sort of stone. That is pretty, isn't it? Let me get in really close. There you go. That is really pretty. Okie dokie, that one. I think I have one little little drop in there left. Oh yeah. Ooh, but just drops. Nah, that's nothing. That's not interesting. Nah, maybe if I put a little gold on there, maybe it'll uh, be something that might be nice. We'll see. I'll keep it anyway. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this little video about little pores. Oh, no, I was going to show you the painting. That's right. Wait a minute. Now, I did this one a really long time ago, but what I like, let me get you in focus here. I like this whole combination of colors. So it's it's the sort of the turquoise sort of blue. Then here it's a sort of greenish. Then it has this orange that makes it pop. But I really like this. Now it's too bad it has this on the bottom because I don't like that. But this I really like. I think I'll have to go find it because I'm pretty sure I made a video about this. I video everything I do so gotta have it somewhere but this these little bits in here where it turns a little gray I don't like but I like this whole thing but I'm thinking like a huge painting like I don't know 150 by one really big and then just put colors on there and then something like this going over it yeah these colors are really talking to me so that's how it usually goes that's a motorcycle that just went by so that's usually how it goes. I, I see colors, I put them together, and then all of a sudden they, you know, just make me feel good. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you later. Back in a bit. Bye.